Yo, what's up, everyone? It's your boy. Today's video, I'm gonna go to locals and do some play testing with Jesse Cotton, and we're gonna see just how good Pendulum is against one of the best players in the world. And let me tell you how good it'll be. It loves to destroy it, baby. Pendulum's got a stack. Let's go. You're gonna wanna stay tuned to the end of this video, boys, because we are going on a journey. And you guys are gonna stay tuned for the whole journey as Pendulum is not just gonna destroy Jesse, not just gonna destroy Chaos Dragons. But every dragon link in front of a bullshit deck, pen best deck. Let's go. So if you're new to the channel, smash the subscribe button at 40,000 subscribers. We're going to release some of the most amazing content you've ever seen. Because for every subscriber, that's another negate, baby. So if you want to see 40,000 negates, smash the subscribe button. Let's go. So with that being said, it's time, Jesse. The pen god versus Jesse Cotton coming up next. Let's go. <laughs> Before we go to locals, I want to show you guys the deck list I'll be using to face Jesse with so you can understand what's coming next, what's in my extra deck, just to understand how to defeat boards or break boards or make boards, etc. I'm only going to be playing game ones. This is not a match. You're going to play like five game ones, lots of duels. So there is no side deck required, obviously, because we're just doing game ones. If you guys want a side deck, check out my last video where I showed you guys my reasoning behind why I played each card in the side deck and if you guys also remember my last video, I told you guys to play top, triple attack of talents in the main deck. I do believe that's a great idea against Jesse. I didn't own any, so I opted not to play them. But if you do want to play triple attack of talents in your main deck, I believe it's a fantastic meta call. Take out the just, third Jesser Confit and the Instant Fusion. Take out the Millennium Ice. Instant Fusion, yes, it's an amazing card to draw, but it is a one of spell card that is not searchable. So, uh, why do you want to save a whole one slot in your extra deck? Just for one card, you're literally barely going to... You're going to draw one Instant Fusion, one every 15 matches. But versus a whole extra deck slot where you are bound to draw, uh, use that extra deck slot many times. So with that being said, there's nothing left to do other than to go to Game Nation and deal with our arch nemesis who has 35 more tops than me. Jesse, let's go. <laughs> Let's go, baby! Pen best deck! Let's go! Yeah, we're How you doing? Had to uh, punch my friend for uh, good luck. Let's go, baby! Pen best deck! Let's go! We don't need no luck! We're playing the best deck. So here we're facing off against Jesse Cotton's Chaos thunder dragons which is essentially his version of pendulums his favorite Yu-Gi-Oh deck of all time that's a proxy for dugaris over there and he does end up bricking the drops for dugaris do not help him he's gonna be forced to go into a verde anaconda which is a proxy over there and he's gonna end on a thunder dragon titan with two pops pretty lackluster jesse did not have access to a tuner here so he got lucky all we got to deal with is a thunder dragon titan with two pops but again that's two interruptions that's like two ghost soakers that's pretty big, and a Titan is difficult to deal with, and he has a really good follow-up. So what we got to do here, play through two pops, and we'll be able to win uh, game one of our testing. Let's go. Like we said, lackluster of a board there for Jesse, and he knew it. Uh, he only has Titan with two pops, but we're going to do a very heads-up play here, which we're going to talk about. We're going to do a very heads-up play here. A lot of people think Chronograph and Time Gazer suck. Well, they do. But what people don't understand is that Chronograph could purposely special up Time Gazer, not for the fact of an extender, but for the fact of being protection for your scale. Jesse's a good player, he knows what Time Gazer does. But now this forces him to waste both of his interruptions on one magical abductor simply because of Time Gazer's effect. So pay close attention to what I'm gonna do here, and this is how you protect your scales from any destruction at any given moment. Let's go. He's gonna be forced to pop the abductor here with the Titan, with both of the interruptions he has in his hand, with both of his Thunder Dragon cards. If he does that, it's okay. Reflection will bounce a Titan. He does pops up Doctor twice, twice with two effects. Uh, so time gives him protects one. We simply just go into Celine, Mighty Master Bolt the board, and he concedes, recognizes OTK over there. There's really nothing he can do at that point. Uh, he definitely needs more interruptions than two, and he knows that. He knows that, which is why this hand is gonna is gonna show the full power of his deck, and his deck is gonna put up a massive board here. Uh, and that's what happens when you draw a tuner. Uh, you can do lots of stuff with his deck here. And if you guys notice uh, how beautiful that playmat is, let's go, baby. Get your Trip Gaming playmats on tripgaming.com right now. Let's go. 
We actually kind of brick. We literally dropped three mighty masters. I shit you not. But we're still gonna clear the board, I think. So let's go. At this moment, we literally have three mighty masters in our hand. Things are looking pretty bleak. But we're not gonna give up because we also have an allure in our hand and a mastery. So things are not over here. We I'm pretty sure we can still clear the board, but it all depends on what Jesse interrupts. So let's go figure out if we can break it. The proxy again there was Verde and Anaconda, by the way, but we'll see if we can break it. We got lots of draw power here. Lots of draw power, lots of draw power. I draw, I got upstart, I got the allure. I'm like, you know what? There's still a chance, but it all depends how he negates it. And at this point, I'm like, yo, I literally have three masters. I just, I can't do it. I drew right hand as well. I couldn't do it. It was just too many bricks. There's just too many, not bricks, but not enough cards that turbo cards on the field. It happens, it happens. Sometimes going second, you're not gonna clear every board. We almost actually broke that board despite drawing three Mighty Masters, but this is why I'm actually not a fan of playing so many Mighty Masters and Jackals. That's why I brought Jackal down to one and Reflection I wanna take out of the deck. It's because they don't actually put cards in the field. Just how Mighty Masters, they don't actually put cards in the field. The Mighty Masters basically stuck in my hand. Now, uh, for the rest of this door, I'm going first. It's one, one at the moment. I will actually be going pretty slow here so you guys can pay attention and actually learn how to combo when I go first. This is that's my proxy for Magician Souls, Magician Rod. Uh, I go Souls, Restate, Draw, and that's just the auto, auto combo there of Souls and Restate. Jesse's like, oh, that's a pretty cool card. Get special and add for free. Uh, this just goes to show the power of Magician Souls and Restage. And for those still not playing Restage, if you can afford Magician Souls, it is literally mandatory in your deck. You cannot not play Pendulum without, or Edemian, sorry, without Restage and Souls. They're just so damn powerful together, and it's just an absolute must. And honestly, I must say, I don't care if you guys don't buy this mat. This mat is just literally the most sexy mat I've ever seen in my life. This is not even a plug. This is just an appreciation for the artwork. Holy shit, that's beautiful. There we do a cool play to Celine Jackal to protect from any hand trap. I know he doesn't play hand trap because I know his build, but regardless, you want to protect from hand trap just in case. So you get the Jackal up. You already see instantly how many spells I have. Do you now see how good Upstart and Into the Void are? And for like Upstart and Into the Void, literally you're just at free counters. Look at the graveyard. Celine's gonna be stacked. You just need all the draw cards possible. I literally draw triple chronograph and time gazer. I'm like, how the shit is this possible? I, last game I hard drew three mighty masters this game I hard drew triple chronograph and a time gazer but this is gonna go to show that I hard drew triple chronograph and a time gazer that's like draw that's like playing a four of and drawing a four of but I'm still gonna combo up and still put up infinity in the gates like if this doesn't show you how powerful this deck is and this our user is protected by infinity counter jackal so no no hand trap will even stop it even if he imprints it I just pendulum everything from my extra deck so it's like this goes to show how good Sayuja is, and it goes to show that even if you have Chronographs dead, do you see that? Like, I literally had four Chronographs, basically. Three Chronographs and a Time Gazer, and I still made the best use of it, man. Like, this deck is actually just so good. So, we're going to end up searching the Reflection here. You want to make sure to get two level sevens, and this is basically how you're going to uh, use Celine very well and abuse it. And use Celine three times this turn. Which is crazy to think. So I'm going to pen summon. So I'm going to use Sayuja back to Special Mighty Master. Just a cool way to be able to pen summon an extra card. I use Sayuja Special Master. Uh, I pen summon four. Uh, I go Absolute. I go Cross Sheep. Uh, Vortex. I don't summon the... Yeah, sorry. Mascarena. Yeah, just free... Uh, with Selene, I brought out a card first. And then uh, Cross Sheep play. Selene bring another Master. Uh, Jesse's like, yeah, this card's crazy. Uh, this is six negates while drawing four chronograph cards. That's unbelievable. Like, that's unbelievable, man. Literally six negates while drawing four chronographs. That's just go to show how crazy this deck is. I drew not one, not two, not three, but four chronograph sorcerer related cards. And literally three chronographs on a time gazer. And I still, and I still put up this crazy board. So now we're going to see if Jesse can play through this board. And his deck is good against uh, in, against interruption, so we'll see how he does. Let's go. Telling you, man, if you guys don't know how to put up these boards, if you drop bricks, you guys just gotta sign up on the Pendulum Training down below, and you guys will learn any everything you need to do. I teach everything, all you need to do. I basically negate all his spell cards there. I don't let any spell card resolve. Uh, and he's just thinking how he could beat this board. He tries to get a few pluses going. Uh, at this point, I'm like, uh, I could masquerade at any moment if I want to. I decide to shuffle that back in. And there's just nothing you can do. Uh, he was almost close. Uh, I'm like, I'm going to bounce that back to you. I bounced the shirt when he's solitary. I don't want him to get access to a tuner. He almost bro broke it, but it just wasn't enough for the best deck pendulum. So here at the moment, it is two to one 
for me. He's going first here. And something very, very funny here actually happens. So he draws, and he's gonna base. He's actually gonna blind a lord here. He recognizes, he's like, you know what? I, I can't put. He could have. He had a hand where he could have put up the same Thunder Dragon Titan. He knows it's not enough against Pendulum. He blind the lords and misses and just scoops. Uh, he's like, oh, I, I'm not playing through that. I'm not playing with that. He gives respect to Pendulum where it's due. He needed to put up more than one interruption, so he had to blind the lord. There. That's three one at the moment for for Pendulums. So we'll see how this match goes, this game over here goes. This game's actually gonna be extremely interesting. It's 3-1 for, for me, but uh, I do wanna really win this one really badly because I know how good Pendulum is and I know I could defeat this. I just know I have a lot of uh, respect for Thunder Dragons and for Jesse, but I know that no matter how big his board is, I know Pendulum is so powerful that I could actually still win it all. So I want to win this one. This is gonna be the last duel we're gonna play just for anyone still watch, uh, watching at this point, this will be the last one we're going to play. Uh, and we're going to see just how good Pendulum is, if it can break the full power board. My hand's very good at the moment, and I'm super excited. Because I know that whatever board he puts up, I'm probably breaking. And he, he doesn't think I could do it. Jesse's like, oh, you're not breaking this board. I'm like, oh, no, I literally am. Like, my hand is just spell cards and uh, abductor and stuff. So I'm just going to spell cards a whole counter. So I'm going to destroy him. Here, those are the proxies uh, that we brought up again. Uh... The proxy's there, uh, so we'll see how he does against this. We're gonna add, uh, try and get as much as he can. He negates that. Uh, at this point, I'm like, man, I really wish I had the abductor. I thought I had the abductor. It was reflection that I had, even though I said I had the abductor. Reflection's gonna put in some work there. I'm gonna try and just clear the board, which I know I could. Uh, I could do lots of damage, but it's like, I know he's a good follow-up. That's an issue. I go absolute crash vortex, and I could do a good amount of damage here. The only problem is he has an amazing follow-up. So I could clear basically his full board, but Thunder Dragon Titan is so good that it could protect itself. I clear his full board. The only problem, he has such a follow-up in the graveyard that I still end up losing. That was an incredible match against Jesse. An incredible game. Ends up being 3-2 to two for me, but I only went first once. He went first four times. Uh, in a match, I believe my side deck would be even better against his deck because we side Triple Sphere Mode, Triple Lava Golem, which would uh, destroy his deck, uh, especially because Mighty Master could just blow up the Sphere Mode and kill him. He had an amazing follow-up in that last game five that we played. Uh, so that's why even though I cleared his full board, he put up his full board of interruptions and I cleared it all. Only problem is as an amazing follow-up with Safer in the graveyard and it can just continue, uh, it's like snowballs at every turn. Thanks for Justin for coming out to the channel. That was actually an incredible match, I, I had incredible games. I had a lot of fun testing. And whenever you face against someone who's really good, you learn a lot about your deck. So I learned a few stuff about that match. That triple tactic talents is just really good right now. So I would love to play triple tactic talents in the deck. As I told you guys, I'd be thinking of the third Jester Confit and the Ace of Fusion to make space for two tight triple tactic talents. Uh, because it is Pendulum. It's not like decks that are one card combos. So I think two tactic talents is fine. Uh, if you guys got this far, thank you guys for watching this video. I have a blast making every single local vlog videos. If you guys like it, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos like this. Consider supporting me on Patreon where you can learn everything about pendulums and join the pendulum training down below. And lastly, make sure to get the beautiful Truth Gaming Playmat on TruthGaming.com if you guys want the best playmat in the game. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Number one is Pendulum.